Hey friends, welcome back to BMS Beauty and Sunscreen Sunday. If you're new here, I'm Brittany and I have a skincare addiction. Um, I want to start out by saying happy Mother's Day today to all the mamas out there. Um, I know I have a pretty freaking awesome mom and we are taking her Jeep out to the trails for a Mother's Day Jeep parade thing. So um, it ought to be fun. Pretty excited about that. Uh, but anyways, today we will be taking a look at Ulta's brand of sunscreen. So this is a mineral matte tinted face lotion, SPF 30. Uh, we will discuss the product, its ingredients, and do our usual demo. Um, but before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe uh, to help me support the channel uh, and see more sunscreen reviews. Okay, now we can get started. It's sunscreen Sunday, y'all. Uh, so today, so today, we are checking out this guy here from Ulta. They say this is a lightweight moisturizing sunscreen. It gives broad spectrum UVA and UVB coverage, plus environmental protection, while the lightly tinted formula gives skin a smooth finish. Uh, this is also water resistant for up to 80 minutes. The active ingredients are titanium titanium dioxide and zinc oxide both at three percent this does include some hydrating and moisturizing ingredients such as shea butter primrose oil and glycerin uh, it also includes allotonin and green tea and cucumber extracts to help soothe the skin this also contains plankton extract which i'm not too familiar with um, I do know that it is in quite a few products actually, um, and it's said to help condition and soften the skin, but it is near the bottom of the ingredient list, so I'm not sure how helpful it is in this case, and I'm guessing that means this is not a cruelty-free product. Um, this also does include fragrance. So I suppose we will see if it's overbearing or not. I don't mind fragrance in my skincare, but I prefer a fragrance that I actually enjoy. So we will see. All right. So I already showered and everything, did my moisturizer, spent about 10 minutes or so. So I will apply, oh man. Okay, not a little water, you gotta shake it up. I always forget to shake these. All right. So I got two fingers here. Let's start putting this. Today I am going to try to not put a finger in my eyeball. Because that didn't end too well <laughs> last time. All right. Oh, it feels nice. It feels a little thick. And whew, when you rub it in, the fragrance comes out. <laughs> it is very florally. I mean, kind of overbearing. <laughs> Ugh. Hopefully it goes away quickly because... I do not like it, the scent. <laughs> well, it goes on pretty easily, so that's good. I don't look super orange. My hands aren't super orange. It kind of feels silky. Am I boring you, sir? <laughs> Let out a very large sigh, like, oh, Mom, come on. All right. Well, so far, it feels really good. It feels silky-ish, kind of almost like foundation-y-ish. Um, there's no orangeness. There's no, like white cast or anything like that. The tint covers that up pretty good. And 
and went into my skin very nice and I don't feel like super sticky or tacky or anything like that. The smell is overbearing though, but yeah, I'll give this about 20 minutes or so. I'll come back, let you know uh, what I think at that point. And so I'll see you then. Okay. Bye. Hey guys. So it's been about 20 minutes or so. Coming back to you from the couch. Um, I'm actually liking this. Besides the fact that I can still smell it. I can still smell that hint of floral. When I take a deep breath. <laughs> uh, but other than that. like It feels pretty nice. I don't feel super dry or tight. Despite the fact that it's a matte finish sunscreen. Um... I feel a little tight around here when I smile, but other than that, it feels pretty good. It feels silky, and I feel like it soaked in and went into my skin pretty well. Like, I don't feel like it's just sitting on top, um, and it's a perfect shade for me. So if you have light, pale skin like I do, it works pretty well. I don't feel like you can really tell that I have it on or that it's orange or that there's any weird marks or rings where I stopped it um but yeah it did pretty good in the hairline it's not cakey anywhere so far it hasn't caked in any of my creases and it did give me a little bit of coverage on some of my redness in my cheeks so so far so good um, I am getting ready now to go donate some plasma, save some lives. So I will check back with you guys in a couple hours and let you know how it's still holding up. Okay. Hey friends, I'm back. So I just got done donating plasma and I'm sitting in the parking lot right now and it was so busy. I was in there for over two hours. So it's been... A little over three hours since I first applied this um, it's holding up pretty good I wore a mask the whole time that I was in there and there was hardly any transfer um, where I get oily here um, it is a little bit on the oilier side but honestly I expected it to be worse after wearing that mask for that long um, so the matte part of this does work pretty good because my other oily spots like right here on my forehead isn't bad at all and there's no like creasing going on my face still feels good um I'm not feeling tight or dry or anything like that so I mean I do actually kind of like this stuff the only downfall for me <laughs> is it smells so bad and I can't smell it anymore it's been over three hours but I could probably smell it for like the first 30 to 40 minutes that I had it on. Um, the other good thing about it though, even despite having such a strong fragrance, um, it didn't burn my eyes or bother my eyes at all. So I actually, I like this. Um, and I think it will be good in the summer because of the mattifying, even though I like more of that dewy look in the summer, I can sometimes become an oil slick. So maybe it will help to even out that oil a little bit and just make it look like I have dewy skin and not greasy skin <laughs> I don't know but but yeah I like this um I think it's worth giving a shot if fragrance doesn't bother you and I mean it has some pretty decent ingredients and it doesn't feel heavy or weigh my face down I haven't felt irritated or anything like that so um but yeah I just want to check in with you let you guys know my final thoughts um I'm gonna take off and head home now and people in this parking lot are looking at me weird because I'm talking to my phone. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.